In this video we're going to take a look at adjusting the colors in our image but we're not going to be touching the saturation. Instead we're going to take a look at making the colors brighter or darker to give this image more impact and we're going to do it using a rather surprising adjustment layer. So for that adjustment layer let's come over to the layers panel. We're going to come down to this little icon here, this little half black half white one. Clicking on this and from the drop down menu we're going to go to black and white. Clicking on this and yes the image has now become black and white but we're going to go back to the layers panel. We're going to change the blend mode from normal we're going to go to luminosity. There it is and when luminosity opens if I just switch this on and off you can see there is a difference and you can see the way it's actually affected the uh, the bushes there. Let's double click you can see there it is that's put it in with the default preset and if I just come to the yellow slider if I move this back and forth you can see the way we can change the brightness of those colors. Now this isn't affecting the saturation it is purely the brightness. In fact if we take it all the way over to plus 300 there it's even got snow now. Move it back in the other direction if we go down to the minus 200 we've now got black in the image so we can go from white through to black and all the various tones in between and this is what we're going to use to change the way this image looks. Right let's start off with the red slider. I'm going to click on this once again moving it across in this direction. You'll notice the reds in the picture becoming brighter. Moving it across to the left hand side I'm going to take it into the uh, Let's go into the minus figures there. That looks pretty good. Something like that. Like the way that's looking in the reds. Right, let's just take a look at those yellows. Let's just drop this down into the realms of reality. Perhaps something like... Um, yeah, that there. That looks pretty good. Right, let's go for the greens. This time I'm going to darken the greens down. Move it back and forth. You can see exactly what's uh, working with the greens. You can see it's these uh, rather attractive plants, commonly known as weeds here, and these... Uh, brushes over in this direction here so just darken it down to that area I like the way that's looking so far. Now the cyans, I've got a hunch this is going to be in the sky yep I like what that's doing. It's also got the windows in on the act as well as we start to move that back and forth. I'm going to take it to that area there looks pretty good. Now for the blues don't want to brighten this, I want to darken this down again. And this is really starting to give the sky far more impact. Look what it's doing to the clouds, particularly in this area here. But I'm not so sure I like what it's doing with the crane or the building in the background. But don't worry, I've got a little bit of a plan for this. We're going to move it across. I'm going to take it right the way to the maximum of minus 200. I like the way this is working so far. Let's just take a look. There's the before, there's the after what a difference. Right, magentas. Have we got any magentas in the picture? And as we move this back and forth, yes we have these little bushes here, these buddlier bushes. You can see there now, uh, yeah, we can make the buddlier flower a little darker. We can make it brighter, perhaps something in that area. I like the way that's working so far. So let's just take a quick look. Yeah, I think that's uh, going to be perhaps just a little bit more in the reds that area there. Don't forget this is an adjustment layer so you can come back into it. You can make any changes. Let's go over to the layers panel. Just going to switch that on and off. There's the before. There's the after. Quite a difference. Remember I said about this crane? Well if you can just take a look over here you can see this framework coming around this part of our adjustment layer. Click on the layer mask. You'll notice that framework moves over so we're now working on the mask. I'm going to go over to the toolbox. We're going to pick up the paintbrush or press B on the keyboard got black as a foreground color. I've got a soft edge brush. Let's just take a look. Yeah, it's about the right size. So I'm just going to click down. But before I do that, there's something else I want to do. I don't want to sort of take it out in one go. I'm just going to use Command Z, Control Z. Instead, I want a little bit more control. So I'm going to press 2 on the keyboard. That's going to change the opacity from 100% to 20%. Now I can click down and I can just remove that blues until I get the type of effect I'm after. Something like that there looks pretty good just across those windows as well right you see a little spot there that's what we're working on that looks better perhaps just a little bit in those windows and down around that area great stuff so you can use the mask to make adjustments as well so if you want to you know, tone down some of the colors yet yeah, keep the same color same color blue as we're using here brighter just use the mask and don't forget you can also come to the opacity slider and you can reduce the opacity as well if you want to. Perhaps something like that looks pretty good. Let's just finish this off. I'm going to go down and put in an again another adjustment layer this time of levels. You'll see there is a bit of a gap here. I'm going to press and hold down Alt or Option. Moving this across, holding down Alt or Option. 
the screen has turned black and it's just going to bring it to that area there just take a note you've got those uh, little white areas that's just where it's clipping so just backing it up very very slightly into that area that looks pretty good alter option again moving it back and forth just looking for the areas of the blacks doesn't matter if you've got some of them like that that looks pretty good and just moving this across into the right hand side just to give the image a little bit more bite again and there it is so let's just take a quick look there's the start picture we've then put the adjustment layer of black and white to change the way the lightness works with those colors that really does work a treat doesn't it look what it's doing to the clouds there finishing off with levels that looks pretty good like that one other picture I'd like to show you as well it's this one here totally different scene but if we just take a look uh, all I've done is just remove the color cast and use levels with this this is the black and white adjustment layer using it in exactly the same way and look at the way we can sort of change the lighting we can make it look really sort of you know like shadows and highlights down on the bottom there just by changing the darkness the lightness that we're using on these various colors yellows and greens in this particular case and we can also come in we can darken that sky down as well a little bit if we want to or something else don't forget we've still got that mask if we want to bring back the original sky we can pick up something like the linear gradient tool i've got 70 percent opacity going to press and hold down the shift key to give me a nice straight line so just bringing that into that area just switching it off there it is. Now you can see we're just affecting the bottom parts of the picture and what a difference we can make. So go on, give it a try. It's a great way of darkening down those colors to enrich those colors, those tones. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.